what does five months of being on Zep Bound look like? <clears throat> well, we're gonna we're about to find out. In our appearance-driven social system, toxic productivity and diet culture are considered especially heinous. In Denver, Colorado, a dedicated gold getter seeking to crush these vicious lies is the founder of an elite squad known as Heal Thy Spirit. These are her stories. Now, this is um, actually going to be my week 22 and my five month um, update combined. Um, I apologize, the angle of the sun is horrific because I'm in the car because that's the best time because it takes me about 20 minutes to get to the plasma place and you know that kind of keeps me honest with the um the time frame and keeping these videos short for you um and at this point um you probably have just seen weeks 20 and 21 like yesterday and the day before <laughs> so um because i'm a little bit behind on updating or uploading rather um despite the fact that i've actually been recording them consistently each week um, I also have coming, um, I met with my dietitian, no, yes, dietitian, that's the one that has the license. Um, all dietitians are nutritionists, but all nutritionists are not dietitians. Um, so I met with her this week, and so I want to do a separate video on the things that I learned and the things that I'll be trying based on my conversation with her. And, um, all right, so let's get into it. I'm Tia. I have been on Zepbound for five months now. Um, as of the recording of this video, I am actually in the middle of my week 23 um, because I take the shot now on Fridays after the colonoscopy. I switched my shot day from Sunday to Friday, but I still count my weigh-in day as Sunday. Um, so again, I'm Tia. You're here because you um, either are really nosy and just like to know about what's going on with people, or you might be on a weight loss journey, or you might be considering a weight loss journey of your own um, for the future, or maybe you're considering medication, or maybe you're looking for um, ways to verify that medication is that the way to go. Whatever the reason is, you are welcome, and um, you know, please like my video if you enjoy what I'm about to say and comment below if you have questions or just comments or encouragement um, you know the haters you can stay quiet but <laughs> other than that um, let's get into the update so um, I started Zep Man on April 21st so these first set of stats that I'm going to give you are based off of Saturday September 21st results because that would be the exactly five months um, and then my t week 22 update and weigh in is going to be for Sunday which is just a day apart so not going to be too different but um, there may be some slight differences and the traffic is insane um, I left a little bit I normally go and donate plasma first thing in the morning but um, I didn't have enough time to get it done before my work work day started today. So that's why I'm going after work and I'm dealing with this almost five o'clock traffic. <laughs> All right. So um, with my five months, I am um, on Saturday, I weighed 212 pounds, which is down 240 Point eight pound. Well, no, sorry, <laughs> not down 240. I started at 240.8 pounds, and as of Saturday, I weighed 212.4 pounds, which is a loss of 28.4 pounds in five months. Um, what that meant at, for my statistics, and again, these statistics, other than BMI, well, even BMI, you can take with a grain of salt because that doesn't really mean anything. But it's a good guide to show me, you know, where I started and where 
I'm at currently. Um, but my BMI is uh, 34.5, which is down from 39.2, where it was on April 21st. And I wanted to, what I started to say just a second ago was that my, um, my, uh, I had the DEXA scan, you know, in July and I'm planning to go do that again, I guess in October cause it's, you know, September is pretty much over now. And again, this, it's crazy. I am so sorry about this Denver sun. I may have to re-record this video, <laughs> but, um, in the event that I don't, I'm just going to keep going and, you know, just give me your grace. <laughs> That's all I ask for. All right. Um, so I was going to say I had the DEXA scan um, at the end of July and um, found that my Renfo scale, and go back and watch that video if you haven't already, but my Renfo scale um, ended up being pretty close. So it was like the body fat percentage was only off by like 3%. So even though these numbers I'm about to give you are not accurate, I think on a sliding scale from where I started and where I'm, where it says I am, um, it's helpful. So my BMI, like I said, was 34.5, which is down from 39.2. My total body fat was 51.1 or current yeah at the start it was 51.2 percent according to the scale which was 123.2 pounds of fat and then currently or as of Saturday it was 44.1 percent which was 93.6 pounds of fat um, so that's if you do the math that's 29.6 pounds of fat loss not muscle loss um, and you know, I will verify when I get my updated DEXA scan. Um, my subcutaneous fat was 38.3% on Saturday and I started at 44% of subcutaneous fat. Um, and we're not going to go, you know, talk about the visceral fat because we know comparing that on the DEXA scan was completely wrong so <laughs> because my DEXA scan said I had less than a pound so we'll see um, my current body water as of Saturday was 38.3 percent which is up from 33.5 percent you want your body water to be higher it's still low um, compared according to what it should be but it's moving in the right direction um, my protein when I started was 9.9% and that is up to 12% now. So that is definitely going in the right direction. My fat free body mass. Um, so basically it's everything except or everything that's not fat <laughs> on my body was 118.8 pounds um, when I started in April and it is currently 107 sorry I said that backwards it's currently 118.8 pounds but it was 117.4 pounds when I started my muscle mass when I started was 110.4 pounds and that has actually increased to 111.8 pounds so it's still lining up with um, gaining muscle and losing fat, which is, you know, what the plan is. So overall, that's my update. Um, having lost a total of 28.4 pounds, which um, like it may, it, the math adds up when you look at, you know, 28.4 pounds lost, but I lost 29 pounds of fat and gained one pound of muscle. So it's still, you know, works out the way that it should be working out. Now, as for my week 22 update, and I am oh so excited to give you this update. I, um, you know, as you know, if you watch the videos from earlier this week, then you will know that I weighed in on week 20 at 218.8 pounds which was a gain of 3.8 pounds 
then and that was the week that I was in Dallas and eating that delicious pizza and I told y'all hey I'm not worried about it it's you know it is what it is I mean and I that week it's interesting because I did exercise that week and you know do all the things but you know it just goes to it points to that the fact that your water consumption and your nutrition that a hundred percent well it's like 95 percent of what you eat is you know accounts for your weight maintenance versus exercise so you know you always you heard the saying you can't out exercise a bad diet so and you know it could be I don't know if, if you weigh differently you know being at sea level versus being in elevation but any in any case I gained 3.8 pounds when I was out of town for work in Dallas and then week 21 I still gained <laughs> which was you know super disappointing because I that was the week that I had the colonoscopy and so Thursday of that week I couldn't even eat any solid food you know like no protein or anything and I mean maybe that's part of it um but I did learn that um you know with the procedures they give you you know extra fluids and things like that so despite the fact that I was completely cleaned out and y'all I was completely cleaned out there was nothing there um <laughs> then you know it didn't really help with my weight loss in fact that week I gained 0 0.8 pounds um and I had weighed in at 219.6 when that Sunday at the end of week 21. So now <laughs> for today's update. <laughs> um, and I forgot to do, I think, oh no, I know exactly. Today, oh, I can't tell you today yet. So you'll have to save that for this weekend's video. However, <laughs> Sunday I weighed in at I believe it was around 211 point something I don't know exactly the number but I know that I was still I was still shy of 30 pounds lost so in um, that week 211 if you remember I just you know told you the numbers and um, I weighed at the end of week 21 I weighed 219.6 so I must have weighed 211.6 because I lost exactly eight pounds. And again, I have never in my life lost eight pounds in one week. I don't think this week I actually lost eight pounds. Um, in that one week, I think that the gains that were reported the previous two weeks were not real gains. You know, maybe there was water weight. Maybe there was, you know, I don't know. But the scale said that I lost eight pounds and Tia in her life has never lost eight pounds. So, um, you know, I did exercise five days last week while staying under my calorie count and hitting my protein goals. So, you know, that accounts for some of it. But if you do the math, you know, if you multiply 3,500 times eight, because 3,500 is how much how many calories is in a pound there's no way that I worked off more than that and I ate you know a lot of food <laughs> normal food all last week it just doesn't make it does not make mental sense to me but I'm gonna take it and you know you guys know I weigh daily so what tends to happen is the Sunday weight is low and then I start bouncing back up or vice versa the Sunday weight will be high and then the next day I'll, you know, show a low. That's why I weigh every day to kind of see, is this real or is something else going on? But um, yeah, last week I exercised five times. I did my running three times last week in training for this 5K hot chocolate run for Special Olympics. And maybe I'll put the link so that if anybody wants to donate to the Special Olympics, you'll be able to do that. Um, because I have not actively been trying to do that, which is the whole point of this thing. It's not about me. Um, it's about, you know, who I can help. So I will share that link with you below. Um, I did two strength trainings. One of those strength trainings was a um, hit 
well, it usually always is hit. I use dumbbells right now. I waver between 15 and 12 pound weights. So I don't know, you know, I'm not a fitness guru, so I don't know if that's a lot or not a lot, but that's where I'm at currently. Um, and my non-scale victory for the week, I will um, post the picture um, up here so that you can see it, was I went to this event called Girl Rest this weekend, and it was a... It was a girl, the girl rest experience um, put on by Delonda Adams. And it was, you know, a faith-based um, workshop, you know, not a conference <laughs> because we were very involved in all the things that we were doing. And um, so I did that and there were pictures taken because my friend and coach Malika who I've interviewed on the website she was in town from Florida she's the one that told me about the event um, so she was here and um, we took some pictures at the event and she sent me a picture of us and she was like look at how skinny you look <laughs> y'all <laughs> Now, skinny is not the exact word that I would use. However, I did I did barely recognize myself. Like it is a noticeable that 28.6 or whatever um oh so close to 30 pounds was um it, it definitely is noticeable. And just in looking at the numbers that I went over with you guys, it makes sense. I think because I've lost 30 pounds before well not quite I think the lowest I got down to when I did that the, the last diet that I actually did um, two years ago I was um, I think the lowest I got down to like was like 218 or 216 something like that maybe yeah around 216 so really just five pounds shy um, of where I am as of Saturday and I did not look the way that I currently look. So I, I am confident, even before I get the DEXA scan, that I am maintaining my muscle. And I am, because I really do focus on the nutrients. And I know I still owe y'all that protein video. I'm going to try to get that in this week too. Um, <laughs> big audacious goals. Um, so, you know, that looking at yourself and taking pictures of yourself and I do take pictures but not like pictures in everyday life with everyday people because I don't really do anything or go anywhere um, but you know the one thing that I can say um, is that you definitely take pictures take pictures because even when the scales not moving or the scales being weird um, you can see especially if you're putting in all the work and doing the exercise and doing the nutrition it's going to reflect in your appearance. So that is all that I have for you guys today. At this moment in time, I pulled up to the plasma place. So I'm going to go in and do my donation. And um, I will talk to you guys again soon. Take care. Oh, I didn't say my little outro. Um, <laughs> be sure to heal thy spirit for a healthy spirit. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.